Okay, so I've got these poles here hanging on there so this pony can get used to feeling them on his side. And I'm pulling on the left bridle rein just a little bit because he came down there and got too close to the fence, which will run that outside pole into the fence if he doesn't turn to the left. Let him find his way through here because that's just exactly what he would be doing with the shafts on that cart. And the better he learns to navigate his body around with those poles hanging on there, the more better equipped he's going to be to pull that cart. He's getting it figured out here pretty nicely. I like that he's quiet about it, he's not upset. He's listening to me real real nicely. I pulled just a little bit more on the left brow ring. My picture's for him to turn there, just like that. Now all he's got to do is move laterally to the left, right there. To come on around and make that nice turn. He doesn't need to bend and try to come out around his shoulder there. He needs to straighten up. I'm using the right brow ring just a little bit right drive line there just a little bit to help get him to move his hip over to the left there and come on through very nice now he's able to pull it in freedom going straight now I want to, I want to go to the right so I pull just a little bit with the, the right line ask him to go forward and he's going to come on through very nice he's come on through real nice there Keep turning to the right. There we go. Very good. So actually now, he seems like he's gaining a little bit of security from those poles on his side to help him stay right where he needs to be. Those poles are closer to him than the shafts will be on the, on the cart. And he's doing it extremely well right here. Very nice. I like that he's quiet. I'm asking him to turn right here. He should just come on around to the right because I'm pulling just a little bit on the right line. Just a little bit on the right line, and I'm going to add a little drive with the left line. He's thinking about backing up. That's not going to work. There's the right answer right there, and he stepped into freedom. <laughs> Come on around to the right. Don't bend. There we go. There we go. When I say there we go, that means that he's looking to the right with his head, and he's also bringing his hip slightly to the right. He's a, in good body position to turn without getting interference from those poles on his side. Very nice. Now we're going to go straight here. Straighten him up. Now I want him to go think about turning left. So I'll pull on the left brow ring, left line. Still pulling on the left line. There's a good response. I'm waiting on him to keep going forward. And step to the left. See that pole stepping him? There you go. Now he's there. There's the right answer. He's just teetering right now between right and wrong. So I want him to go left. That's my picture. Going to the right would be the wrong answer. Going to the left would be the right answer. So I'm prepared to make that step real easy. He needs to turn left here sooner or he's going to run that pole into the, into the wall. There we go. Find your way through that. See, he, he thought he could push his way through there. And the pole kept him from getting out of, out of alignment. Let's get stopped here. Wait just a minute. My 
tugs have come untied from the pole. So this is an opportunity for him to just stand here and wait on me. Stand here and wait on me. Don't don't get all out of so he's gotta be comfortable standing still when we've got that cart on because we're gonna have to get in and out of that cart. And uh, if he's if he's thinking about moving when it needs to be standing still, it's going to be an uncomfortable at best to get in now that cart. <laughs> I'll just take a couple of half hitches here on that on that pole. Now, if if this pony wasn't as quiet as he is, I probably wouldn't put these poles on here this quickly. But he's real quiet. He's trying, and uh, they're just presenting an opportunity to get him listening to me a little better. Okay, let's go. Cluck to him to get him going forward. I just stay real consistent with what I'm doing. If, if I do the same thing every time I ask him to do something, there's no reason why that he shouldn't right away get real quiet about doing whatever. I'm pulling on the left line. I'm going to turn left here. I don't want him bending. I don't want him going right. I need him going forward. So I'm going to add a little motivation with the outside line. I pull on that left, right line. There we go. Now the hip step the correct way. See, that hip's got to come left. There we go. Easy, bud. Find your way. There we go. See, it's right there in those spots that driving horses have a, a little bit of a difficult time in the beginning finding out where they need to step, how they need to step to keep their own body from being in their own way. So he needs to stay pretty straight in his body. That was a nice, very nice right there. He just stepped to the left with both front end and hind end. Came right through there very nicely. I'm asking again for that left turn. I've got a, a little bit of, just a little bit of pull on both lines. Ask him to get forward. Very nice, very nice. See him stepping his whole body to the left there. So he's coming around laterally, not just trying to bend around that pole. He needs to keep stepping to the left. Keep stepping left. There we go. That's it. That's it. Perfect. Just got a little bit of contact with his mouth, a little bit of contact with those lines, and I'm out, I'm offering him some security in my hand so he can feel that I'm making a decision as to where we go, not him. Let's go left here. Let's go left here. Let's go straight. Straighten up, straighten up. Now he's still wanting to go to the left, and I don't want to go left. So I'm pulling on the right one. Now I'm going to drive with the drive with the left one. There we go. Now see, he he moved his body about three feet to the left there that he didn't have to do. He could have just come right on through to the right as he's doing right now without that delay. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just keep changing direction here as I go until we get the animal thinking quicker and trying to find that, trying to find that sweet spot. Turn right here. Very good. Stay right between those tracks that he made with the poles right there. There we go. Let's go right again. He's wanting to lean left a little bit. So I'm, at that time, I'm going to add a little bit of motivation forward with the left line. Stay steady with the right one until he comes on around through. Steady with the right one. Forward motion with the left one. Steady with the right one. Forward with the left one. So I'm communicating with him through the lines, through feel. I'm feeling of his mouth. I'm feeling of his body. I'm letting him just comfortably go along with these poles, get comfortable feeling those things by hanging on his side, comfortable with him feeling them in his way if he tries to bend and turn too much bent. That's pretty, very nice. That's a very nice turn right there. Very nice. 
See if we can get him to come on around to the right there just a little bit. Little pony's got a really good mind and he's really trying. I mean, you can't ask one to do any better than than he's doing right now. Let's go left. Let's go left. I like it. Now, right here, he's in a little bit of a spot where he's got to think. Forward, come on. Very good. Come on, get around there. Forward. Very good, come on. Stop right there. Whoop. Whoop. Let him find his stability. I'm going to go up and pet on him. I want him to think that every time I ask him to stop, that I'm going to come up here and touch him. I'm going to reassure him that everything's okay. And we're going to let this be a a resting time, a rewarding time, good time. <laughs> See if we can get that mane up underneath everything. Very good. Check and make sure that that those blinders are easy, bud. Easy, bud. If they're hanging in there too close to his eye, they need to be out just a little bit more Let's see if we can get something working here just a little bit better that's yeah, much better much better okay let's go forward See if we can go for a little bit of a trot. Come Needs to move his body over to the left there, just like that. Just come on through to the middle. Come on around. And he's pushing the wrong way. Come on, he'll find it. There we go. There we go. Very good. Now let's go right. I'm going to open this gate here, and uh, next time I come through, we're going to go outside. Come on. And I wouldn't be going outside if he wasn't handling this as well as he is here right now, because I don't want to. Get him in a bind. I've got a, a pretty decent chance of holding him if he gets bothered because I'm not in a cart behind him. I can be more stable here on the ground and help him through a little better than if I was on him or on in the cart. Hearing that rock, hearing those sounds. Holes are making a lot of noise. He's wanting to look back at them, but that noise is staying consistent. So, as it stays consistent, he'll get gradually get accepted. I'm just having him look out where he's going, go where he's looking. I've got contact with his mouth slightly for security. Yeah, he's 
in unfamiliar territory for him, so a little insecure right here. Want to turn left or right. Yeah. Come on. Come on. See some horses over there to the side. He doesn't know if they can get to him or not, so naturally he's a little apprehensive. I'm going to just keep contact with him, let him know I'm here. Let him know everything's okay. Just keep looking out ahead. No need to look over there at those horses. Come on. Keep looking straight ahead. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Should be pretty good though for first time coming outside. We got this horse on the side here going back and forth, distracting him. Come on.
Pardon me. <laughs> Well, basically, we're just out here. I'm, I'm keeping him. I need to keep him moving forward. I'm, I don't need him getting in a bind out here right now, so I'll talk as I'm going. But he needs to keep moving forward because if he starts backing up, you're getting a bind with them poles on. And uh, so he's, he's just learning how to handle himself out here. Just learning how to navigate between those poles. Learning how to listen to me from behind. Ask him to move over to the left side of the driveway here. Keep going, he's pulling to the right. I need him to go left. I need him to come off of that left bridle rein to the left, go up into the right bridle rein, so he comes across there. That's what I want. There we go. Now we're going to go back to the right side of the driveway. <laughs> 